Paul Bailey is a serial offender, a rapist and a murderer. And thanks to the fight of a young South Island woman, he's been sentenced to another three years in jail. But before she was held at knife point and raped, a different sort of tragedy occurred. Bailey's baby daughter Linda burned to death in the family home. And now four witnesses say if there'd been a more thorough investigation into the fire, Bailey may never have gone on to rape and murder. She was an innocent soul and she was never given a chance. A vacant piece of grass between two headstones lies the unmarked grave of baby Linda Rose Bailey, the two-month-old daughter of a serial rapist and the murderer of Kylie Smith. Nearly 17 years on, there's no evidence of the short life of a baby who burned to death. The only photographs that still exist of the little girl were taken by a pathologist after she died. But four people haven't forgotten baby Linda. They all witnessed her death, and now 60 Minutes has reunited them for the first time since that night. They want to reopen an investigation they say has let down a defenceless baby. The road travelled would have been totally different. Our lives would have been totally different. We would have had closure. Linda would have resting, she would have been resting in peace back in 89. If, if that was dealt with correctly, Kylie would still be with us. They were all there one night in April 1989 in a house in the tiny central Otago orcharding town of Ettrick, rented by the baby's parents, Rose Shortland, 19 at the time, and father, Paul David Bailey, a seasonal worker. Two 18-year-old male teenagers, along with two girls, had been invited around. We can't identify one of the girls because she'd later be raped by Bailey. She was just 12 at the time. Something you'll never, ever forget. They were watching their favourite music show. Tanya was the other girl there, and she was 14. Everything was very calm and, and um, OK, and I had Linda in my arms. Then Rose decided to take the baby away and put her in a wicker basket. So Rose took Linda out of the room, took her into the kitchen and placed her to bed for the night on the kitchen bench beside the stove. It's um, unfathomable why any mother in their right mind would do that. Why would you do it? Five minutes after the music show started, the newborn began to cry. That turned into a sort of more of a um, piercing, overwhelming like, help cry, you know. I only mum knows that sort of cry. And as the crying got louder, the girl say Paul Bailey turned the television volume up. Tanya and I frantically wanted to pick her up. And we simply weren't allowed. 